Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have the Cypress Eggshell 05A. We have a uh, an Anoto and this is a Colt Pens exclusive Christmas cowl from I believe 2021. Uh, we have a Mont Blanc Writer's Edition, and this is the Jane Austen. We have a Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days. We have a Mont Blanc, and this is a Writer's Edition, Jules Verne. We have an Anoto, and this is the uh, Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. We have an Anoto, and this is the Coronation in Sterling Silver. We have a Visconti Empire. We have an Anoto, and this is the University of Oxford. And we have a Marjon Titanium TI-136. So I think with that, let's go through these in a little bit more detail. So this is a, a really beautiful, stunning uh, Cypress or Mr. Cypress pen, as they used to be known. Uh, this is an eggshell, and it's called the 05A. There were two versions of this. I preferred the A version than the regular 05, uh, purely because of the way the Varden was positioned here. Um, and I think, and remembering, I think the Varden here, because it, it spans the cap and the body, I think on the original one it was a little bit lower so that it wasn't on the cap. Um, this is a flat top pen that you can see there, um, but you do have the eggshell on the uh, cap finial there and also on the blind cap. But the the Varden uh, on here is beautiful and uh, I like the eggshell as well. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Game of Thrones type uh, winter is here or winter is coming type scenario. Um, I do like the Cypress pens. They are made of ebonite. Uh, uh, as a base uh, model. Uh, this one has glitter on it as well on the section. I've got a number six size Cypress 14 karat gold nib there. Uh, all of these Cypress pens are cartridge converter. Uh, you cannot uh, post the caps on these flat tops, but they are a pretty decent size in my hand. Uh, I really don't feel the need to post these caps. But that Raden is really, really quite captivating. Uh, I still, to this day, would like to pick up some more Raden from Cyprus, but I've not seen really any other designs that that speak to me. Uh, in in when I say I'd like to pick up some more Raden, it's really going to be the eggshell Raden ones, and and um, I think there's maybe a couple of models there that I don't have. Well, I don't have the two. I don't have the three, I don't have the four, but I think they are sold out or I didn't like the look of them. Uh, I've got the 5A, I've got the six, I think there might have been a seven uh, as well. The next pen inked up, I've not had inked up for a while and this is a, an Anoto that you can see here. And this was a Colt Pens exclusive, it was the Christmas cowl uh, and I believe it was 2021 that this was brought out. Um, really, really nice pen, and uh, you'll see here that it was only 10 made, uh, and I got number 9 on this one, so this was a very limited edition one, um, and they didn't sell, or they didn't seem to sell, um, they were still available in summer the next year, so that's when I picked this one up, um, I had the opportunity of picking it up with a gold nib or a steel nib, I knew I was going to put a gold glitter ink in here, and uh, I'm just trying to think about that ink. Oh, it's uh, now I'm probably gonna. Uh, I know what it is. It's Winter Whiskey Gold. Uh, I was just looking up at my uh, ink boxes, thinking I'm pretty sure it's a dominant industry ink, but it wasn't. Um, it's a decent size in my hand. It's a cartridge converter. You can post the cap. Uh, I did have the opportunity of picking it up in a gold nib, but it was I think about two hundred and fifty pound more. Uh, I knew that I could get a 18 count golden for about 180 if I wanted to. 
so I decided I would just get the steel nib version that was on sale. Um, yeah, this actually is a broad nib, and uh, I knew I was going to put a glitter in here, so I, I decided actually uh, not to uh, change the nib. I actually do like how that gold, uh, the the steel nib, the gold plated steel nib, uh, writes. So from that perspective, I didn't buy an 18 karat gold nib to replace that nib with. The next pen it inked up is uh, a newer edition. This is the Mont Blanc Writer's Edition, and it's uh, the Jane Austen. Ooh, nearly dropped it there. I'm trying to look on camera, that's why. Uh, and it says, by a lady there um, on the cap finial. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, really do love this. Uh, it has got uh, the, like, the drawstring bag, uh, sort of tie here um, and, and this is really uh, to signify what the ladies used to wear with them uh, and it was a drawstring bag that would ha hold a handkerchief or a, a puff bag or a, a puff box or a, um, a powder box uh, and then the gents of the era would wear this sort of like uh, layered sort of coat um, or waistcoat uh, it's a beautiful pen. I love it. I do love that uh, cap finial there with the raised mother of pearl in the center. Uh, really is uh, nice. I say mother of pearl. Uh, that one probably isn't mother of pearl. It's just a white snow cap. Um, you've also I've got a number six uh, size medium nib there with the silhouette of Jane Austen. And you can see it's, it's a decent size in my hand. You cannot post the cap. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. The step down also is probably what a lot of people would not like. Um, I don't feel it when I'm writing because I hold it down near the base of the section more. But I know some people hold their pens a little bit higher up. But around sort of like the mid, mid or base of the section, it's a decent size. If I were to hold it on the threads, I'm going to feel that step down. And if I were to hold it on the body, yes, it's going to be a little bit shorter in my hand but um, I typically would hold it around the section uh, and I think most people typically do uh, the next pen uh, inked up is this one and this is a new edition or new very new fairly new this is a Mont Blanc around the world in 80 days and um, this is for all intents purposes a wood pen so it's a black wood, an ebony wood, uh, that has been engraved there. Um, I love the black and I love the gold trim. The The only thing is I'm not normally a wood person uh, in terms of pens, purely because wood can expand, it can crack, it can shrink, it can crack. So I'm not normally one. And also, if it's not coated, it can absorb hand oils or sweat or or ink and so that's just something to bear in mind um, I would say that the engraving on the cap is certainly more deeper maybe two to three times deeper than it is on the body um, I, I kind of wish that it was at the same intensity there but there probably is a reason behind that um, you also do see the elephant there uh, from around the world in 80 days uh, there's also uh, some other resemblance there as well. I've got a medium sticker. I do need to remove that sticker actually because I don't leave stickers on these pens. Uh, and you can see, look at that nib. It, it's got uh, some ink on there. Um, it is a, a hot air balloon, but that really looks nice. Um, it's another pen from Mont Blanc in the Writer's Edition range that you cannot post the cap on. Uh, but again, it's a, a decent size in my hand there. I, I don't think really uh, there's a need to post the cap, but I know that some of you do prefer to post caps. But if you want a writer's edition and you have to be able to post your caps, then look at uh, an older version. This is a 2003 edition, and this is the Mont Blanc Writer's Edition Jules Verne. Uh, it's got this beautiful blue enamel with a gear shade underneath it. Uh, absolutely stunning. Um, you've got Jules Verne's signature there. Uh, you've got a, a, a nice sweeping clip 
you've got a divot there for the uh, dive helmet uh, on 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, but um, when I unscrew, you can see a number six size uh, medium nib there. But this one, you can post the cap and it will post onto the body, not onto the, the piston filling knob. So if you really do want to post your caps, this is a, a Mont Blanc to get. But it is very weighty back end with that uh, um, cap because that cap itself is extremely heavy. Without it being posted, it's still a decent size in my hand. Uh, I don't feel the need to post that cap. But if you do then, uh, and you do want a Mont Blanc Writers Edition, then look at the Jules Verne because uh, that it's certainly, I, I only have one in my collection that I can post a cap on from Mont Blanc in the Writers Edition, and it is the Jules Verne. So uh, there might be others. Um, and it might be older versions, perhaps. But I know most of the modern versions that I have, you cannot post the caps. The next pen inked up is the Anoto. And this is the Platinum Jubilee, or Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And uh, this is in sterling silver, so uh, AG925. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cap engravings there. Uh, Anoto did a really, really good job with their silversmiths, uh, artisans, um, in in creating this pen. So glad I, I was able to pick this one up. Uh, it's got a number six size medium, uh, oh, sorry, number seven size Anoto uh, medium nib, um, and it's an 18 count gold nib. Uh, these are not cheap pens. Uh, well, to be honest, most of them on Blanc are not cheap, but this is certainly not cheap. Um, you can post a cap, but it is a huge wand of a pen uh, and back weighted. So I personally wouldn't post the cap on this. Um, but if you like a struggle keeping the nib on the page, then maybe you should look at posting a sterling silver uh, cap because you will struggle to keep that pen on uh, the page. The next pen inked up is, uh, again, an, another Anoto that I picked up at the same time. Uh, this is the King's Coronation in sterling silver. And again, Anoto really hit the ball out of the ballpark here. The engravings on this pen are absolutely stunning. Uh, really in awe that I got this pen. Uh, I love this pen so much. Um, and uh, I have a number seven size Anoto medium nib again. Uh, it is a long pen, just like the Platinum Jubilee. Um, and I can post that cap, but again, it's a little bit too long and a little bit too back weighted. But without having to post that cap, it really is quite nice. So for me, I really, really uh, do like uh, this pen. Um, and I have that one inked up with me this week as well. Um, but they are, like I said, not cheap pens. But they are sterling silver. And uh, sort of, I, I think when you buy a sterling silver pen, you do sort of understand that the pens are going to not be cheap because there's a lot of... A lot of silver in there, but also a lot of workmanship that goes into making those pens. You can't just like print those pens. They've got to be properly engraved. And and that takes a lot of work, especially into sterling silver. The next pen inked up is the uh, Visconti Empire. And uh, this is another pen I picked up this year. Uh, I picked this up secondhand. A collector was uh, selling this pen from their collection. Uh, I do like this pen. It's it's a beautiful pen. It's a sterling silver filigree or overlay here uh, with vermeil, so gold plated essentially. Uh, and I have an older 18 count gold Visconti nib. It's a Bock nib. Uh, and I got this in a fine nib. I didn't have the option of choosing the nib size because there was only one of these. But uh, I am loving how this one writes. You can post the cap there as well. You'll see there's a lot of veins that goes through this cap, uh, which make it look really, really uh, captivating. 
Uh, it's beautiful resin that they have there. Um, and I say resin loosely because I think it's not just resin. I, I think some of these veins might even be celluloid um, or something similar, maybe cellulose acetate. Uh, it's a, a lovely pen and glad that I could add that to my collection. I, I bought that from uh, somebody in the US and imported it over. Uh, thankfully, I wasn't charged import tax. But I'd also uh, looked at the price and factored in the cost of import tax on that pen. Uh, so I, I, this was one of those times where I actually uh, was better off uh, than, than I actually thought I would be. The next pen inked up is the Anoto, and this is the University of Oxford. You can see the coat of arms there. Uh, you've got the sterling silver clip that you have on Anotos. This is gold-plated vermeil. Uh, you've got this beautiful gold uh, diffusion bonded acrylic there. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, material. Um, I, I like this pen a lot. Um, it's got a number seven size Anoto, uh, 18 cat gold medium nib. It's a cartridge converter pen. Um, I can post the cap as well, and it posts deeply and securely. Uh, if you really want to post caps, look at Anotos. Uh, most of them will post. There's a few that don't, uh, but the majority of them will post. Uh, it's a lovely pen, and I have to say that, um, again, I'm just lucky that I guess I was looking at the right, in the right place at the right time, and I saw that one on eBay, and I decided to buy it. And then the last pen inked up is the Marjan Titanium TI-136, which, for all intents and purposes, is a Mont Blanc Martelet clone. Or copy um, doesn't have obviously the Mont Blanc star on it but it's got this hammered uh, texture um, it's not easy to do this as I understand uh, but um, it's a beautiful pen you've even got an ink window it is a piston filling pen um, I've got a steel nib a lemon nib on there that it came with at the time uh, I can post that cap as well um, and it will post deeply and securely um, it does still grip onto the piston knob. So you do have to be a little bit careful when removing that cap. Or even putting posting the cap. But it, it's a beautiful pen. And um, it didn't come with a nib that I had purchased it with. But uh, I have since smoothed that nib out. And I am liking how it writes. So there you have it. That's my 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's now go do a writing sample. So the first pen inked up is the Cypress Eggshell 05A. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch first and you can see uh, what the ink looks like in this pen. Now, the nibs here are made by Canwright in India. Some of these uh, 18 or, four, or in this case 14 cat gold nibs are a lot of them are stiff um some of them have a little bit of a bounce to it and this one does so this is the cypress uh egg shell uh 05a uh and it is a, a medium and as i mentioned it's a 14 cat gold nib uh and then the ink in here is at raw and Klinger and it is Verdura which uh, is a very nice green ink um, a, a friend gifted me a bottle of that and then I liked it so much that I started to to um, buy a few more bottles of that the next pen inked up is the uh, Colt Pens, Anoto, Christmas Cowl. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. Now, um, I've not written with this uh, for a little while. So being glitter, it's going to probably dry up a little bit. So let me see if I can get this started. There you go. Uh, easiest way to get this started is to dip it in a bottle of water. 
that's the quickest way to get the capillary action started. So this is the Anoto uh, Colt Pens exclusive, and it is the Christmas Cowl. Um, and uh, it is a broad, and it is a steel nib. And then the ink in here, as I had mentioned, is uh, Vinter Whiskey Gold, which uh, is a really beautiful gold shimmer ink. And I have to say, I am really liking uh, that ink. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Righteous Edition Jane Austen. And this, I love this ink in this pen. Um, we're doing ink swatch. It just is so lubricated. And I find this with a lot, maybe not all, but a lot of uh, these uh, inks from Pilot Wash Zuku. So this is the Mont Blanc. Uh, and it is the uh, Jane Austen. Uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. But I, I think you can probably see that that is very lubricated. And then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku. And it is Aji Sei, which for me is a beautiful forget me not blue. Uh, I, I received uh, as a gift uh, from an old friend uh, the uh, Papier Plume forget me not blue. And I only had one bottle of it. I wanted to buy some more. And I nearly bought like four, five or six bottles and, and had them shipped to the UK. But I decided I would go on an experimentation and try and see if I could find an ink that was almost identical. And I found it. And it was Pilot Wash Zuku Aji Say. So if you like Papi or Palloon, forget me not blue. Uh, but you don't want to buy it or you, you want a replacement for it, then... Pilot Washer Zuku Aji say is a good replacement. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days. So technically not really a writer's edition, but I do not care. Um, I like this pen a lot. I, I like the contrasting black and gold. Uh, I like it, that it's... I, I didn't like that it was wood, but I like that it's wood now. Um if that makes any sense. So this is the Mont Blanc uh, around the world. The world in 80 days. Uh, it's a long name for a pen. Uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 cap gold nib. Uh, and then the ink in here is Oh, I nearly, nearly wrote Lamy Mango, and it's not. It uh, is um, Sailor Gentle uh, Kin Makusai, because uh, that is an orange ink, not a mango-coloured ink. The next pen inked up is the Mont Blanc Writers Edition Jules Verne. <clears throat> so we'll do uh, an ink swatch again. And uh, again, this is a really nice writing nib. And uh, I have to say, I am loving writing with this. So this is the Mont Blanc Writers Edition uh, Jules Verne. And it's a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is Waterman inspired blue. Now, I, I try where possible to remember what inks are in which pens, but I don't always remember. And I guess that's something that i still try to improve upon really but it's just one of those things that some pens i will remember and some i will not the next pen inked up is the anoto platinum jubilee in sterling silver 
So we'll do an ink swatch here. Uh, and I still have it inked up, or uh, I ink it up with the same ink that I did from the very start. So this is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee at Sterling Silver. Uh, and it's a medium. Uh, and it's an 18 count gold nib. I could have gone with a fine nib, but I decided I would go with a medium on this one. And then the ink in here is Diamine uh, Majestic Purple, which uh, is a, a nice, uh, nice uh, ink that I do like uh, inking uh, it up with. The next pen inked up is the Anoto Coronation pen in sterling silver. So we'll do an ink swatch. And um, I do have this inked up with a different ink. And I think actually I'm going to probably stick with this ink. Uh, I used to have uh, KWZ Hawaii Blue. Uh, strangely enough, I've not seen that bottle in my collection for a while now. I'm not exactly sure what I did with it. Um, it. I know it is around here somewhere. I just cannot see it. So I inked this up um, with another ink. So this is the Anoto, uh, and it is the uh, Coronation, and it is the Sterling Silver uh, in a medium 18 count gold nib. But I'm loving this ink, and the ink is a uh, Venvistus Aqua de Spargi, and uh, that really I think is going to be my go to ink in that pen now. Uh, it, it is a, a really beautiful uh, colored ink. The next pen inked up is a Visconti Empire. So, again, we'll do an ink swatch here. And I was tempted to ink the Anoto up with this same ink here in this pen. But I figured that I would ink it up with something else. Uh, it's just a, a shade uh, darker than in this pen. So this is the Visconti Empire. And this is a fine 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is Waterman inspired blue and uh, i think you can see the difference here between the two shades uh the venustus aqua de Spargi is just a little bit more darker the next pen inked up is the anoto university of oxford and we'll do an ink swatch again and although this is a very light ink, it does dry a little bit darker. So this is the Anoto University of Oxford in a uh, medium 18 karat gold. I was just having to think about that one then. Uh, and then the ink in here is the ink that I said originally I thought was in uh, that Mont Blanc around the world in 80 days. Uh, this one is Lamy Mango, which is a, a lovely, uh, lighter, apricotty, mango-y coloured ink. And then the last pen inked up is a Marjan Titanium TI-136. And this is a piston filling pen. We'll do an ink swatch here. And this, actually, with this ink, is writing beautifully. Now, I do need to just check this ink because I am still unsure about this ink. I want to say I know what it is. It's my most favorite gray ink. But equally, yeah, I don't actually have this listed. Um... I will just quickly go back and look 
to see what I had it inked up with last because I know I haven't changed uh, the the uh, pen on what it's inked up with. Yeah, I thought it it was correct. So this is the Marjon uh, Titanium TI one thirty six. I'm going to call this a medium nib, uh, even though I ground it down. Uh, it is a steel nib. But it, it is more of a, an, an architect grind now that you can see there. And then the ink in here is simply Diamine Earl Grey, which is my favorite uh, ink, uh, grey ink, uh, I should say. I've got lots of favorite inks, but that is my most favorite ink. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. We have a Cypress Eggshell 05A in a medium 14 cat gold nib inked up with raw and Klinger Verdura. We have an Anoto Colt Pens Christmas Cow in a broad steel nib inked up with Vinter Whiskey Gold. We have a Mont Blanc Jane Austen medium 18 cat gold nib uh, and this is inked up with Pilot Washer Zuku Aji Say. We have a Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days uh, in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Sailor Gentle Kin Makusai. We have a Mont Blanc Jules Verne in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Waterman Inspired Blue. We have an Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. We have an Anoto Coronation Sterling Silver in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Venustus Aqua di Spargi. We have a Visconti Empire in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Waterman Inspired Blue. We have an Anoto University of Oxford in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Lamy Mango. And we have a Marjon Titanium TI-136 in a medium steel nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.